hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to create this nude makeup look so if you know how i achieve this look then please keep on watching for eyebrows i'm going to use this blue heaven eyebrow enhancer uh, this eyebrow pencil is really waxy and perfectly pigmented i really like this eyebrow enhancer it's a perfect drugstore not a drugstore but quite affordable uh, eyebrow product To set my brow hair, I am going to use this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. Now let's prime our face. So for primer, I will be using this Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. So this is a silicone based primer. So this primer is non-greasy lightweight formula and it has a satin matte finish. So I really like this primer. So next I'll be using a Krylon corrector. So this is in the shade orange and I'm going to apply this on my acne marks and wherever I have pigmentation. And I'm going to blend this with my ring finger. So once I'm done with blending the corrector, I'll be using this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium 130. So this I'll be applying it on the top of the corrector and will be blending it with my ring finger itself. Let's get into the foundation. So for foundation, I'll be using this two Wet n Wild and Estee Lauder foundation. So uh, the formula of these foundation are really amazing. So what I do, I mix both of these foundations together as Wet n Wild is a bit lighter shade of my shade, actual shade, and the Estee Lauder is a bit darker than the actual shade. So what I do, I do mix off these two foundations and get perfect shade for my skin tone. As you can see how flawless this looks not only on camera but also in real life as well. For my eyeshadow base I'm going to use a lot of this Age Rewind concealer and I'm going to blend it. So I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So this is the best palette I've used by far now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of new shades from this palette and for this eye look and this eye look is completely 100% matte and it is very easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to apply it on my crease line. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to take a darker shade that is a brown shade. I'm going to apply on the lower of the crease line where I applied the lighter shade. And once I'm done with that, and I'm going to blend this all over. Now what I'm doing, I'm running the same shades on my lower lash line as well. So once I'm done with this, for lining my eyes, I'm going to use the Plum Kajal. This is not a smudge. So once you apply, you need to blend it really very fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm just lining my lash line and tight lining as well with this Kajal. Now 
Then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with this metallic shade from the same palette. Before I apply a mascara, I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this Gub Eyelash Curler. For mascara, I'm using this two mascara. So the, the one is the Covergirl and the second one is the Essence Mascara. So uh, I'm going to use first the Covergirl one and then the Essence Mascara. So let's now move on with the face. So for the cream contour, I'm using this Krylon V21 shade and I'm going to contour my face with this. For setting my face, I'm using this MAC Studio Fix Compact. I really like this compact as it sets my base really very smoothly. Next, I'm using this Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches. Next, I'm using this Wet n Wild Colorican Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. And this is a beautiful nude pink kind of shade that I really like. It's matte and extremely blendable. For highlighter, I'm using this Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. This is a beautiful drugstore highlighter and I really love the formula of this highlighter. To line my lips, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Trendsetter. Once I'm done with this, like lining my lips and filling the lips with the same pencil, I'm going to use uh, this liquid lipstick. So this is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Dolce. This is a beautiful nude shade. And this is the completed look. And that's it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in my next video guys. Till then, bye-bye.